Have you ever wondered why you are not getting enough number of interview calls even after uploading your resume to multiple job portals? Have you ever wondered why you are not getting enough responses from hiring managers even after sending your resume to almost dozens of companies? Have you ever wondered what changes you can do to your resume which will attract more interview calls for you? My name is Kevin Kutto and in this video I am going to talk about top 5 basic resume mistakes which generally professionals do which land up their resume into hiring manager's trash bin rather than on interviewer's desk. So are you ready? Let's begin. Mistake number 1. Resume to lengthy. It is proven fact that hiring managers spend on an average of 6 seconds before they make up their mind whether they will shortlist your resume or not. If that is true, they may not even turn to the next page of your resume. That's the reason why your resume needs to be very focused and crisp. What do I mean by making your resume focused and crisp? It means that you need not include everything happened in your career into your resume. Instead, your focus should be job opening and its requirements. You should include that work experience, educational qualifications, certifications, skills and achievements which are connected with the job opening and its requirements. Rest of the things you can just summarize in tabular form or in few sentences. Do not waste most portion of the resume in listing down the work experience which is not connected with the job opening. Let me give an example. Imagine that you want to apply for the job of team lead. You have total 12 years of experience and you have already worked with the four companies. But you started working as a team lead since past two jobs. Now, majority of the portion of your resume needs to cover your job responsibilities you handled into past two jobs. Rest of the things which you started as a trainee engineer or uh, you worked as an individual contributor's role, it should be summarized mainly in tabular form or few sentences. Like, you may say that I worked with XYZ companies in design domain or software domain or banking domain for five years and my main responsibility was to deliver these projects from start to end in individual contributor role. That will make your resume crisp and attract hiring manager's attention when he or she start reading your resume. Mistake number two, use of headers, footers, charts, images, and company specific jargons. Now why you should not use them in your resume? Nowadays, Many companies are using applicant tracking system in order to search your resumes from different job portals. Now, how this applicant tracking system works? It works on the principle of keywords. So when hiring managers enter keywords which are very popular in your domain and related to the job opening and requirement into applicant tracking system, it will go to the different job portals and search for the resumes which contain those keywords. Now just imagine your keywords are hidden under headers, footers, charts, images or you are using company specific jargons or nomenclature which applicant tracking system doesn't recognize. Your resume may not be even searched in first place. That means your opportunity of getting interview call is killed even before it is born. 
and that's why you should always write your resume into word format and it will make job simpler for applicant tracking system which will enhance your probability of getting interview calls of your dream job mistake number 3 use of annoying buzzwords and generic explanations now what do i mean by annoying buzzwords annoying buzzwords are those phrases which are present in almost every candidate's resume but are not supported by data or numbers and that's why they create that annoying factor for example i'm go getter i'm smart thinker i'm outside box thinker i'm best in class you must avoid these phrases or annoying buzzwords in your resume instead make habit of using actionable verbs followed by numbers for example delivered four projects in design domain developed six apps in banking domain invented eight patents for us and europe market submitted 24 ideas uh, for patent consideration delivered six cost project worth 2.4 million dollars these are some of the examples of actionable verbs followed by numbers these create positive impression about you or attract interviewer's attention during first 6 crucial seconds and that's why you should use them more into your resume mistake number 4 revealing too much personal information and irrelevant data in your resume now why we should avoid mentioning too much personal information and irrelevant data in our resume simply because we want to make our resume crisp in order to attract hiring managers attention during first 6 crucial seconds we don't want to distract hiring managers attention to the non issues i have seen resumes which are like 9 to 10 pages long they include every aspect of the personal life for example they say about your religion about your caste your passport number aadhar number pan card number ssn number family background detail mailing address all the information which is not relevant to the job you can provide this information as and when company asks them in the later rounds no need to provide this information into your resume strictly avoid mentioning your hobbies into your resume unless and until you have something credible to show nobody is interested in knowing that you like to listen to music or like to read books it will just occupy space in your resume do not mention the reasons why you left your past jobs you can reveal them only and only when interviewer asks them during your interview do not mention why you are leaving your current job sometimes it can put you to the disadvantage let me give an example if you write that i am looking for the new job because i am relocating to your city now company knows that you need this job badly and if you are a suitable candidate they will negotiate very hard on your salary aspect so never reveal why you want to leave your current job never mention references into resume i have seen resumes where people mentioned their current boss number their email address past boss number their email addresses that is not at all needed into resume you can mention it only and only when company will ask it from you for background verification and it's okay to provide them but do not mention them into your resume that way your resume will become crisp and focused on a job requirement rather than creating a distraction with unwanted information it will enhance your chances of getting more and more interview calls mistake number 5 inconsistent formatting use of wrong tenses spelling and grammatical mistakes now why we should avoid these mistakes in our resume 
put yourself into hiring manager's shoes and look at the resume of the candidate who has done such mistakes. What impression you'll carry about such candidate. You'll definitely think that candidate is very unorganized person, shabby person, and is not giving importance to crucial events in his or her life. Will you call such candidate for an interview? Obviously, no. So you need to pay attention to the resume and how your resume is looking professional. So what you can do in order to make sure that your resume look professional? Here are some of the steps. First, pay attention to the formatting. So what you can do? Use consistent font. Do not use multiple fonts. Make sure that your fonts are universally recognized. Don't use customized fonts. Make sure that the height of font is more than 10 mm to make sure that your resume is readable. Make sure that the spacing between the lines is uniform. Make sure that your titles are always highlighted. Do not use too many bolts. Uh, even though we want to highlight some of the keywords into our resume, but we don't want to highlight everything. It will make your resume look very shabby. So if you take care of these mistakes, your resume will look more professional. You should always use right tense to explain the job descriptions or job responsibilities. If you are talking about your past experience, use past tense. If you are talking about your current job, use present tense. It's obvious. Run spell check before sending the resume to hiring managers. Spell check can capture most of the spelling and grammatical mistakes. If possible, please get your resume checked by somebody who is good at English. That way, it will help you to make your resume look professional and attract hiring manager's attention. It will help you to enhance probability of getting more and more job interviews for you. If you rectify these five top basic mis resume mistakes, definitely your resume will look more crisp, focused and professional. And that will attract hiring manager's attention and you will get more and more interview calls. Now, even though I have covered top five resume mistakes, definitely resume mistakes are not limited to five. There are many more generic and silly resume mistakes professionals do, which land up their resumes into trash bin. I have compiled all these mistakes into a Word document and I'm willing to share that with you. What you need to do is write to me at kevinkuto at the rate gmail.com and I will respond it back with the attachment. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel because it will help me to create more and more content like this. Not only that, next time I upload the content, you'll get the notification of it so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you very much for watching these videos and uh, those professionals who are searching for the job, I want to wish you best of luck. Thank you.